Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Corner here and we are still here in Tokyo, Japan. If you're planning to go to Japan for the first time, just like us, you need to know these five things that I'm going to share to you. This is going to be quick and concise so you have to watch this. Number one, make sure that you have a very good itinerary throughout your entire trip. Also, you have to make up your mind. If you're going to stay in Tokyo, you better stay in Tokyo for one week or more. It really depends on what you want because for me personally, in a span of a week, if I'm going to stay in Tokyo and then I have to cross to Osaka, that will be pretty much tiring. So for us, what we did is we maximized our one week here in Tokyo, Japan. You just have to plan everything well. Number two, JR Pass is not always the ticket that you need. I hate to break it to you, but that's a fact. JR Pass is not always the answer for your Japan travel. Because JR Pass is pretty expensive and the sole purpose of it is for you to travel from point to point, from north to south of Japan. But if you're staying here in Tokyo or probably you're staying in Osaka, only there is no need for you to purchase that so again guys make sure that you know how to maximize your train ticket and that means sometimes you don't need JR pass number three I think this is what you really need be physically ready what I mean by that is every day here in Japan you're going to walk for 15,000 to 30,000 steps per day and how are you going to be physically ready at least two or one month ahead before your travel here make sure to finish 10 to 15,000 steps per day as your exercise so that when the day comes that you're going to travel here you are physically prepared and you are physically ready for those long walking days. Number four, if you are physically ready, of course, you also have to be mentally ready. Now, what I mean by that, you have to be ready with the cultural differences here in Japan. It's not that there's something bad in here, but everything's so good. People are very accommodating, very helpful, but the train stations are a bit confusing and there's a good chance that you might get lost. So you have to be mentally ready so that if you get lost, you can easily get back on your feet. Don't get irritated if you are getting lost. That's pretty much normal, especially if it's your first time here. Number five, most people will say bring your most comfortable shoes. That's true, right? Let's give it. I think it's underrated that people are not suggesting to bring the best socks that you have or the comfortable socks because that will really help you in a long walking day. Also, another unpopular opinion, if you're going to Shinjuku, be prepared because that station is pretty much confusing. But again, people are nice, so it's very easy for you to ask for guide or instructions. By the way, guys, we are still here in Yokohama and this is 5 p.m. Look at the sunset. I'm not really used to this at 5 p.m. In our country, back in Philippines, it's really bright. But in here, 5 p.m. is about to get dark already. But don't worry, nighttime here in Japan is safe. Tons of lights outside and people are friendly. I don't know what is the name of this landmark, but it looks so cool, man. And again, the leaves are starting to change colors here. You might be wondering, how come I am alone today? It's because every time we travel, and I would love to promote this, every time we do a travel, it's best for you guys to experience something on your own. What I mean by that is that every time you go out with your family or friends, and if you guys are traveling for, let's say, for a week, Make sure to dedicate one day that you guys will go on your own path. That means you will do a solo travel in a day. You will be able to do those things that you like without any guilt of wasting other people's time. Not really wasting, but of course, everybody is different and we have our own interests in life, right? So for example, this one, my mom will not appreciate Gundam, right? So instead of forcing them to go with me here, I scheduled this Gundam on my own solo day. I get to enjoy it and I was able to save some time for my mom. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that correctly but you get the point. Basically, if it's your solo day, you can do everything that you want without them losing their right time. Right now, I was able to talk loudly in the train because I am the only one here. See? We are on our way to our next destination and apparently I saw a book of Super Bazaar. I decided to make a detour and check this one because they might have something good. For you guys who don't know, Book of Bazaar is a thrift store. Technically, a second-hand store. They are scattered all over Japan but there are some book offs that are a bit small. And when you see a book of Super Bazaar, that means it is going to be a huge one. By the way, this is at Shinigawa City. I will put the address on the description box so you can check it out later. Right off the bat, guys, there are gachapons, cards, anime cards. They even have Pokemon mystery packs here. Now, we are landing right away with tons of anime toys and figures here. And even plushies. Yo, look at this Master Ball. And even this one, it has Charizard over there for 2,000 yen only. I am telling you right now, I don't know where to start because there are electronics, books, cameras, everything is in here. Yo, yo, I am, I've watched this one, Diamond Noise. This is a very good baseball anime. I liked it. And for this one, the whole set, it's for 7,000 yen. 
and only. I am hoping that I won't get a copyright strike on this one because there's a music playing in the background and I hope and hopefully this will push through. So to make things safer, I'm going to run a montage in 3, 2, 1. One thing I noticed here is that some stuff here are cheaper compared to the ones that we've checked in Akihabara. Of course, I know that you might say this is a second-hand store or a thrift store, but still, it is relatively cheap. Especially those tapes for Game Boy and SNES and Nintendo. Those, those are cheap ones. There are so many Dragon Ball figures here. They also have tons of MHA. And don't get me wrong about the boxes or the packages of these things. They are huge, man. Especially this one. For 7,000 yen only. It's good. Of course, they have a Katsuki Bakugo here. It's at 8,500 yen. I think that's a bit pricey, but you know, as a second hand, I think that's a steel deal already. Also, it is a scale figure from Artifacts J. If you guys remember, I have a Hawks Artifacts J and I did an unboxing video of that. So hopefully you were able to watch that and check that. It's a good quality kind of MHA action figure. And of course, they have tons of loose figures here. It means that these items does not have boxes anymore, but they are still in good condition. This Deku, 1,200 yen. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> not to mention this Shigaraki at 500 yen only. That Rengo is a sure fire, straight fire at 8,000 yen. And you have here tons of Demon Slayer figures. They, we have their Tengen Uzui. This is a Tengen Uzui prize A and last one of Ichiban Kuji. Again, guys, this is the Book of Super Bazaar here at Shinagawa City. Yo, these items are so cute, man. That one at the back is at 13,000 yen. This one is at 25,000 yen. Yen. Woo. Woo. Spicy. Whoa. Look at this. They even have a metal composite Gundam here. Even this one, the RX 78. This is a metal build. I'm not sure if a metal build and metal composite is the same, but you know, it is still a metal. Not to mention, they have a Mazinger here, which is 25,000 yen. And it says here it's a die cast, so this is going to be heavy. Oh man, look at this Pop Max of Crocodile at 33,000 yen. They even have a Toga here, right? Well, they have tons in here. I'm telling you guys, you should always visit Book Off. How cute can that be, Anya and Bond? Yo, this is a classic figure here. We have Spawn for 1,400 yen. Look at it. <laughs> they also have vintage cars here and this one, Vintage Neo. Wow, it looks cool. So that completes our book of day. Now we are heading over back to Akihabara to find some small purchases, probably last minute purchases. By the way, when we say Akihabara, it's not just about anime. It's also called as the electric town here in Japan. Now, since it's called electric town, that means they are packed with gadgets. So we are going to check one of the biggest stores here when it comes to gadgets. It's called Big Camera. If you guys know Akiba Zone, which is that building, it's just right across this one. And Big Camera has seven floors of gadgets. Now, who knows what are we going to find here? So, let's start with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It says here it's 189,000 yen. So, close to 200,000 yen. I don't know what that is. What's that? 5,200. And I think you will still have a discount if you're a tourist here. All you have to do is just present your passport. You also have AirPods here. Here you go. Oh, here's the price. AirPods Pro, 39,000. Almost 40k. AirPods is at 28,000 yen. And Air another AirPods here. I don't know what's the difference. Oh, AirPods version 2 and AirPods version 3, I think. They also have Apple Watch here. See? To tell you honestly, I want to blitz everything here now for the prices. But unfortunately, I cannot check all of these things because there's seven floors of this store. And we're going to check all of them. Oh, here you go. Here's a quick map of the whole big camera. So on the first floor, they have Apple and Microsoft products. And then on the second floor, PC and USB stuff for peripherals and then on the third floor so the smartphone power bank earphones and that stuff fourth floor beauty appliances shavers uh clocks watches and those things that you can see and on the fifth floor they have tv camera camcorder drone oh drone I'm, I'm, i want to check those drones and then on the sixth floor they have ref washing mostly house stuff and then on the seventh floor they have games or toys 
All right, we're going to check those things. Oh, and they have the machinations here. And PS5. If you guys are in need of memory cards or USBs, I think this is the place for you here in Akihabara. Honestly speaking, my keyboard is about to give up on me. So, you know, seeing these keyboards made me remember about that thing. But I'm not sure if I can buy that as of the moment. But still, let's see. Who knows, there might be a sale here. I guess not then because this one is at 34,000 yen. I guess they're not on sale. But they look so cool. Look at this one. 23,000 yen. I don't know what kind of keyboard is this. Oh man, this is so cool. I don't know. Wow. The sound is very thick. I like it. This one is called Kyle Prestige and on the name itself, it's a clicky keyboard. Eh, it's good. It's Unfortunately, good. this stuff is out of my range, but hopefully in the future, you know, who knows? I'm going to buy here in the future, probably in our next trip. I think third floor is dedicated for smartphones, and probably even SIM cards. Yes, I can see them. So welcome to the third floor of Big Camera. SIM cards here, right? So if you guys are traveling and if you are in need, they have a wide range of selection here for cell phones. They have Oppo, Xiaomi. Uh, I don't know what this is, Redmi. They even have Google Pixel here. And of course, iPhone, right? They'll, they'll definitely have this thing. So if you guys are looking or planning to buy cell phones, they have it here. But I don't know what will be the difference if you will bring it to your home. The only difference that I've read is that when it comes to iPhone, when you use the camera, they, it will automatically have the shutter sound. But aside from that, I'm not sure if there are other changes or differences. So it's better to do your own research about it first. Character from the Raymond in our country, he's called the Moolah. Of course, here's the price of the iPhone 15 Pro Max here. And for the iPhone 15 Pro, here you go. Also, they have the iPhone 15 Plus, right? So those are the prices of the latest iPhones here. Some beauty items that you might need on your daily life, like these things. They all have it here. Wow. I did not expect for this one to cost like that. Who am I to judge? Probably it is definitely worth it with the quality that they are providing. Dude, look at the watches here. This G-Shock 40th anniversary looks cool here. I have no idea that a transparent G-Shock will look so good. These are G-Shock Mud Master. And yes, I don't have the money to spend for that. <laughs> Hopefully, in the future. This one looks nice. It's way different than the most G-Shocks. These are so cute, man like super cute so i ended up buying some and when i said i bought some it will look like this <laughs> now welcome to the fifth floor where everything is about like what tvs tons of tvs and when i say tons of tvs i mean lots of them <laughs> it feels like it's all tv here or screens, monitor. Oh, there are other stuff over there. They have tripods, picture frames. They have ring lights. Of course, they have cameras here. And if you're going to check it over here, the Sony A7 III is at 278 yen. Right? This is not an A7S. It's just A7 III. Whew, I wish I can afford these kinds of stuff. At least we can improve our video quality in the future. Let's do it. Step by step, boys. Step by step. As of now, we have our iPhone and the best camera that you can use is the one that you have. Oh, they also have the Mavic 3 Pro here and it sits at around 250 or 260 to 352. Oh, they also have here the Pro at 563,000 yen. Wow. I think this is the package. Yes, these are the packages based on what are you going to get. And those are the prices guys i'm going to skip the sixth floor because they are about to close and i think most of the sixth floor are for household so like aircon refrigerators and those kinds of stuff so i'm going to skip that we'll go directly to the seventh floor seventh floor is dedicated for the machinations and bandai these are plastic toys and models and even games so they have all those stuff here now let's see so right off the bat after mario you will see the nintendo switch I don't know what this is, but I'm not sure if it's something different or special, but it's at 37,000 yen. And there you go. There's Mario. A huge Mario. They also have here the Spider-Man bundle for 8,000 yen. I'm not really sure if it's the bundle or just the CD. Or I mean just the game for 8,000 yen. So that one I'm not sure. They even have Legos here. So if you guys are interested with Lego stuff, then... Seventh floor. So many toys in here. Plastic models, Gundams, droids. I already forgot what those are. 
and more Gundams here. Oh, they also have Fire Force here. Not for sale, not for sale. They also have Demon Slayer stuff here, boys. This is so random, seeing Freddy Mercury out of nowhere. Unfortunately, it's already closing time and we have to get out of the store. But overall, it was a fun experience. Third to gadgets and random stuff, big camera here in Akihabara is well recommended for you guys. Especially the seventh floor where they are selling toys and model kits. You're going to love guys, it. Guys, if you have any questions, please comment them down below. I would love to answer all of also, them. Also, if you're going to subscribe in our channel, it will really, really help me building these kinds of content. So in short, I beg you guys, please subscribe. So right now, we're just waiting for the train that will take me to our hotel. And that's it for this week's episode. I'll see you again. Mad Corner, I'm out. Feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone.